slow out. But I'm showing a quick video about this uh, remote uh, control of the radio. Actually, it's not remote control, it's on remote talk to the radio. And uh, I have uh, e using a Pocket RX DX uh, this software uh, for the uh, remote controlling this radio. This is a two meter ham radio. And uh, I wanted to talk. Uh, remote distance from from my home and uh, this was uh, a good way to implement it this works over internet and uh, over network fine it has some glitches I'm going to show you so what do we have here we have here a chip computer uh, it's a um, it's like Raspberry Pi, but it's not. It's ARM processor, it's the same architecture than the Raspberry has, so same software will fit on this, but the GPIO pins are totally different. They are totally different They are different. You, I, I, I mean, the software is uh, very different, and um, the Pocket RXDX uh, remote thing is uh, working only on Java, and um, there is some uh, issues with that. This needs uh, a rig, uh, a radio with a CAT interface, so. This radio don't have any CAT interface, so I needed to find a way to get the PTT working. Uh, the Pocket RX TX has the PTT on COM port, but if I'm going to use a COM port, I need to use a USB adapter, uh, what keys the PTT, or I can use the GPIO pins, uh, like here you see UART 1 and 2, and this is the problem. There is no uh, RTS or DDS signals on this, so to get those you need to compile a kernel, compile a kernel, and then uh, you can uh, assign a pins for them. So I decided to do, uh, well, it was easier way, but it was a harder way at the same time. Uh, without any kernel compilations, I decided to uh, key the PTT through the CAT interface. I don't have a CAT, but I'm doing that. So I have, uh, how do I do done that? I done a couple of virtual com ports on Linux. This has Linux inside. So I done a couple of virtual ports and I redirected the cat uh, data to them and the PTT data to them. So yeah, uh, I mean PTT data is on cat and cat has been uh, redirected to the virtual interface. So, uh, how do I get the PTT data from the CAT interface? That was the easy part. Uh, you need to sniff the CAT data uh, using some tool. Then you have the serial data in text mode. What there is going on in hex mode, actually. And uh, I done a script to sniff that data and uh, do things when certain uh, characters will come. So cat data is very simple uh, on TX and RX. It's only needed to grab uh, the TX and RX, nothing else. It's simple as that. And then redirect them to do something. So in my case, I have done then 
to redirect to uh, Kitipititi GPIO pins. So it was uh, quite easy when you understand what you are doing. So there is other problem. This uh, CPU what we have here, R8, uh, the milliamps is so small. I tried to uh, drive this up up the isolator and it was not possible. I tried with different resistor values and it didn't work and I then connected directly. It was 3.3 volts and the milliamps was not just enough. So I decided to put a transistor and uh, an PN transistor to drive this uh, opto isolator with uh, resistors of course to protect them and that works well that works very well no problems at all and it's fast also I have this audio transformer and this is a modulation transformer uh, it's acting as audio transformer it's not good but it's working this uh, resistor here this is the audio output the audio will is it's coming from the GPIO pins, yes, and microphone as well. So I needed to put one mega ohm resistor here. This is the mic line, the output of the radio. So one mega ohm and this cap to get rid of the DC current because this has a DC current to power up the microphone. So this was essential to this, get it working. Without this, when I turn volume up on the radio, this wheel hangs and you need to reboot after that. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is happening. So let's plug this in. This is simple, very simple. It has this connector. It's it's going here and uh, I just plug this into the radio uh, here and uh, that's it and the audio cable is coming from the back from the back coming audio cable it's coming here and uh, I just plug that there and uh, it's simple as that but I'm not going to plug the wire yet I just plug the power first so Let's see, yeah, let's see, sliding up. And yeah, I'm going to pause video and I'm going to open the terminal to see the debug of this while I'm uh, using. Okay, it started now and uh, I'm going to connect this and uh, you see remote connected and I'm going to press PTT and you see the XRX this will send a command to GPIO like this the other video and if I disconnect this will come text and connect it works fine okay let's connect to the wire let's connect the this wire so we have sound now I'm going to open squares like this and uh, of course I need to connect this and you will hear the sound it's squares open I'm going to switch the frequency Let's put on this, 225, I'm going to take the other radio and uh, going to switch the frequency Yeah, 
One, two, three. Oho, yksi etes. Like you see, it's working. Now to get to PTT working, I'm going to plug in the transmit one. And I put the radio here and uh, I can transmit like this. Yks, kaks. And why we don't have a audio? Yks, kaks. Let's check up the wires. Okay, got it working. One, two. Yks, kaks. Oh. It's very, very loud. Sorry about that. Yks, kaks. Oh, yks, etesta. It's not good. Yks, kaks. Yks, kaks. Yks, kaks. Yks, kaks. Yks, kaks. Yeah, it was circling around uh, the sound, but it's working. I'm not going to... Oh, yks, etesta. My call sign, of course. Yeah. This is working very well. So there is a problem I'm going to show on my other phone. Uh, you hear this clicking noise. That's the problem. Testi, testi, testi. Oho, yks se. Oho, yks se. Testi. Jee. Yks, kaks. Yks, kaks. Jee, this is not good when you are transmitting right side by side the radios. So, that's the problem now coming. But, anyways, uh, this clicking sound coming from this device and this device don't have that so that's the problem and the sound is uh, coming this short on, uh, for a short while when you start transmitting and then after that it will fix itself yeah there is it a single transmit device you cannot change frequency you cannot do anything because cat is not connected it is possible to connect and do uh, some some scripts and uh, things with GPIOs if you want to remote uh, this radio. There is a da data line, data line on microphone. You can use that if you find out how to use that. So yeah, Pocket RXTX uh, transceiver, transceiver. Uh, you don't need any. Ethernet connections. This works over Wi-Fi, and uh, I'm using a tunnel to to connect from outside, so there is no possible to other users come to connect this. So if you try try those IP addresses, you can you are not working for them. Well, thanks for watching. This was my Pocket RXTX uh, transceiver. Uh, the module to key the transceiver and that's it.